Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I'm making a video for people who want to start a medical tourism business but don't know quite where to start. So maybe you saw some statistics that show that the industry is growing and you can see yourself having a thriving business in this industry, but you don't know where to start. You don't know where to begin. I always say that education is the best foundation to start a medical tourism business, and that is always going to be the fastest route to your way to success, but today I'm going to be focusing on things you can do on your own. So the best way I've seen people achieve success is by setting goals and by attaching time frames to those goals. And it's important to have realistic time frames attached to these goals so you can achieve them in a reasonable amount of time. I've worked with people from all experience levels and all backgrounds, and I know when you first get into medical tourism, you have other obligations. So you want to make sure you keep your obligations in mind when you're setting a time frame for your goals. So depending on your situation, you might have children, you might have a spouse, you may have a current career. So you want to keep those in mind when you're setting up your goals and when you're attaching time frames to your goals. And the reason for doing this is to make sure you're consistently moving forward so you can start your business in a reasonable time frame. And when I talk about setting up goals, I don't just mean long-term goals, I also mean short-term goals. Things like registering your business, right? This is a very fundamental thing that every medical tourism facilitator has to do is to register their business. So if you haven't registered your business yet with your local government, maybe you can set up a time frame for that. Hey, in the next two weeks, in the next week, I'll have all my paperwork set up for my LLC or for my sole proprietorship, whatever business entity that you choose to set up. So something else that every medical tourism facilitator has to figure out is what countries they're gonna target and what procedures they're gonna focus on. And so if you haven't done that, set a goal for that. In the next two weeks, I'll have the countries and the destinations I'm gonna target, or I'll have a list of procedures that I wanna focus on for my startup. And if you have a business partner, you guys can hold each other accountable so you guys can get the maximum results. And those three goals that I just mentioned, every medical tourism facilitator has to undertake those. So registering your business, finding out the destinations you wanna target, and also the procedures you're gonna focus on. So when you choose your destinations, you want to know what procedures people are traveling to this country most often for. But if you've already done the basics like filing the paperwork for your business and choosing the countries you're going to work with and the procedures you're going to focus on, then you may want to move on to long-term goals. I mean, you may have a goal of saying, hey, in the next 10 months, I want to partner with 10 hospitals around the world, or I want to visit 10 hospitals around the world, or other goals like getting your website online within the next 30 days. But having a time frame attached to your goal is really important. Or maybe you want to hire a marketing agent to get more traffic to your website. Uh, and a side note to that as well, guys, if you're going to choose someone to build your website and choose someone to market your website, you want to make sure you work with people who have a background in medical tourism and who've done marketing for other medical tourism companies. I've seen nightmares when it comes to that. So I just want to give you guys a heads up on that. But make sure that they worked with somebody in the medical tourism sector uh, prior to your company. You don't want to get in a situation where they're trying to figure out what the industry is and you're paying them to do that research. You want to make sure that you guys are working with people who have a background in medical tourism, who've done marketing for medical tourism agencies, hospitals hospitals, clinics, or at least some form of marketing in the medical tourism industry or some form of web development in the medical tourism industry. And guys, I understand when you're first starting your business, a lot of things may be new to you and they might be unclear. Uh, I'm going to be here for you if you guys need any assistance. You can always reach out to me. I'm going to leave some links below where you guys can contact me. And also through these educational videos, I'm going to try to give you guys as much information as possible. But make sure you guys are consistently moving forward. You guys are making goals and you guys are attaching timelines to those goals so you guys can move forward in a timely manner. But if you guys found value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to speaking to you guys soon.